Any questions from our sisters at the back there? I've got one. You know when ISIS takes slaves, like making women and children slaves, right? Well, that obviously can't be from Islam because we all know that slavery is wrong. <laughs> wrong? Are you stupid? Even the Prophet had slaves and the Quran specifically allows it. Quran chapter 4 verse 3, chapter 4 verse 24, chapter 4 verse 25, chapter 23 verse 6, chapter 24 verse 33. Alright, alright, we get it. The Quran allows slavery. We all know that. At least those of us with full intelligence, not half intelligence like women, innit? Ew. That is true. Women of half our intelligence. We are told this in Sahih Bukhari book 6 hadith 9. Excuse me, I'm not going to attack you personally, but Islam to me. Sister, you cannot just interpret it the way you want to. Islam is not made up by every Tom, Dick and Harry. Sister. All major scholars agree that enslaving men, women and children is allowed in Islam, mostly after battle. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam enslaved all the women and children of an entire Jewish tribe after he killed their men. There are many more examples, sister. Alright, we get it. Slavery is legit. But apart from killing apostates, chopping off hands and feet, crucifixion, lashing fornicators, stoning adulterers and enslaving women and children, ISIS has got nothing to do with Islam. <laughs> <laughs>